Hi everyone, it's me, Julie. We are on our way to go pick up a package at the post office. Um, I bought some Kylie Cosmetics, the Valentine's collection. And it was free shipping to Canada. But I've noticed now that every time it's like free shipping, that I gotta pay like duties and taxes, which is annoying because it's not really free shipping. Um, every time I buy stuff there and I add on shipping, I don't have to pay any duties, so. Wait, what the hell is going on? Dude, go. Okay, thank you. Chinese driver, you are so slow. Am I not allowed to turn left here? Wait, I am. Anyway, so I got a door slip and it says I have to pay $23.20. Like, that's so annoying. Freaking better be worth it, Kylie. I cannot deal with this traffic right now. I'm gonna like kill myself. Oh my God, this guy's car is broken. This is a mess. There's construction on my right side and this guy's like car is broken on the left side. So this is like, oh my gosh. One lane. This is fucked. I need to get out. I need to get out. I need, I need, I need to go. Oh my god. What the fuck? Alright, so today we are talking about friendships. I get asked a lot about, you know, how do you filter out some friends and how do you maintain certain relationships or friendships rather and it's a tough one it's definitely a tricky one when you're a when you live your life in the public eye because a lot of people know what you do when you're all about wait there's a lot of traffic here I don't think I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go left um anyways so having friends as Julie Vu is kind of tough not in the sense that I'm like a snobby, judgmental person. I'm totally the opposite. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care where you come from or what's your story. Like, I will be friends with anyone if you have a good heart. That's truly how I base a friendship on. And it's so hard to really know what their motive is for the friendship and what their intentions are because... You never know if someone's using you or not and thankfully I have a good judge of character and I know I can sniff out certain people if you know what I mean like I for example I was friends with this one person and people keep messaging me saying like what happened to this person how come we don't see them anymore on your social media and stuff I'm not going to mention their name or their gender or anything like that I'm not trying to bash them because I'm not that petty um, but for example, this person would say like, let's go to the mall and cause a scene. What does that mean? Like every time that person said that, I would be like cringing, like ugh. People like that, I'm not like a pretentious person. I don't use my popularity as like some kind of suck up person, if you know what I mean. I'm very, I, I would say I'm very humble about my audience and the people that follow me. And so this person was just all about like, you know, showing off and this and that. And I mean, there's something wrong about it, but I just felt like the person was very pretentious and I, and we weren't on the same level, if that makes sense. Anyways, that was just an example. I can't be friends with people who are pretentious like that. I like real authentic relationships with people. it's definitely hard for for me to create friendships because I don't know what their intentions are I don't know if they want to use me or if they want to you know I, I just I just don't know and I have major trust issues because I've been burned so many times and I feel like I have to be very careful about who I surround myself with and people always say you know the five closest people to you are a reflection of who you are and I don't want that kind of you know negative reflection if that makes sense most of my friends are you know really good people I like to surround myself with you know like-minded people people who want to go far in life and have goals and you know my for instance she's so amazing you know she's a mother of two she worked so hard she has a business and I aspire to be like her one day and I think it's just great to surround yourself with people who will take you higher, if that makes sense. So I actually have a story for you guys. I met this person through a friend and we were socializing at a club and the person 
I made a comment about another person saying, ew, look at that person. They're wearing a guest shirt. And I looked at them right away and I gave them a really dirty look. I'm like, why did you just say that? That's so weird. Like, why would you even say that? Anyways, I just hate people who are so judgmental. Why the frick do I keep getting the red light? I swear to God, today's not my day. Oh, I hate long red lights. But anyways, we're almost at the post office. I just wanna park and show you guys my new handbag that I got. It's a vintage Chanel, so exciting. But yeah, that's how I feel about friendships. Friendships are a two-way street, you know? If one person isn't adding too much into the plate, like, it's not gonna work out, you know? It's like a relationship. Two people have to be involved um, or, or else it won't happen. It's super simple like that. And I've dropped so many people who are not respectful of my time or my friendship and I just don't like that. You know what else I don't like? People who can't park. Ugh. I guess I can park here, but this is such a weird parking spot. Oh my God, nobody knows how to park here. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. It's a little better, but it's not great. Shit. But that's all I have to talk about, about friendships. It's very simple, you know, it's a two-way street. And just be careful who you make friends with. I don't have time for phony, pretentious people. You know, if you are who you are and you're a good time and you're fun and you're non-judgmental, I'm your friend. Um, but yeah. All right, so I wanna show you guys my purse that just arrived, I'm so excited. All right, so this is a vintage Chanel, okay? So it is pre-left um, and I've been looking for a white with gold bag for the longest time and I was never happy with 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 anything that I came across. Um, but this is just so beautiful. I got it on Fashion File. Um, and it's 20 years old, you guys. 20 years old and it's such it, it's such it's in such a great condition. I'm like in love. So, super happy about that my summer bag. We're here at the post office now, so let's go. Oh. Oh my gosh, I love this. I went to the keg yesterday for some steak and lobster. And I love the mints that they give you. It's like chocolate mint. All right, all right. Let's go. I feel like it's gonna rain soon. Like the weather's so weird. It was so beautiful yesterday, but now it's like rainy and gloomy. Look at that. Not cute. Oh my guys, so I just got the package. I did have to pay my duties and taxes, which is annoying. Kylie. I'm actually gonna sit right here and un unbox it. I'm just gonna take it out of the box because I'm like crazy when I buy something. I need to like open it right away or else I'll I will literally die. So let's just put it in here. I use a key as an opener. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I got the Valentine's lip kit, so it's like sparkly. And then the Kylie's Diary, which I'm super excited about. Yay, okay, let's just dump this off. All right, I gotta go now, so I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.